Lieutenant. Hello everyone, welcome to Indie Game Club. We're super excited to be with you today. We got a lot of great games lined up as you guys can see. We have Old Man's Journey, Wilmot's Warehouse, Hot Pot Panic, and our final game for the night is a game called, a game about literally doing your taxes. So we are super excited to be playing all four of those games today. I'm joined by my daughter here, you wanna say hello? She's going to be playing some of the games with me. My son's going to make an entrance uh, soon enough as well. Thanks for watching, whether you're watching on Facebook, YouTube, or Twitch. We really appreciate it. Uh, as always, just to give a bit of an introduction to the events we host and who we are. My name is Michael Zhitkov. I am the founder and executive director of Potions and Pixels here in beautiful Charlotte, North Carolina. Of course, you are here for Indie Game Club, um, which airs every Monday. We stream ourselves playing through this week's games. And on Thursday, you definitely have to check that out. We have a live discussion with a group of individuals, all who play the game. So we like to describe Indie Game Club as 
a book club, but for indie games. So we're really excited about those conversations. But also want to tell you about some of the upcoming things we had and some of the recent uh, events we had. Hopefully you all had an opportunity to check out Black Voices in Gaming, which was a couple weeks ago. We had an amazing panel that is still available on YouTube and Facebook. Um, Women in Gaming two weeks ago was an amazing event. Shout out to all the amazing folks at the Athena Alliance CLT. We had a really great panel discussion there. Last week we had custom game controllers. All of these you'll notice are brought to you by Lowe's, our primary sponsor. We really appreciate all their support. And in this case also we want to give a shout out to Red Bull. Uh, Red Bull uh, gave out an arcade stick for this event. So we really appreciate that as well. Um, tomorrow we have a really awesome event coming up. It's called Games to the Rescue. This is an event where we will have three doctors discussing how games are being used to fight coronavirus. So really looking forward to that conversation. Hopefully you all can join us for that. Uh, really excited about that conversation there. Um, then next week we have Black Voices in Esports. This is a conversation with um, three individuals two of which are here locally in the Charlotte area, one from Atlanta, and we'll be discussing um, uh, Black Voices in Esports and getting uh, you know their perspective on uh, the state of Esports right now. So we're really excited about that conversation. And then the following week will be Hispanic Voices in Gaming uh, with Julio e. e. Nazario, who is a board game designer based out of North Carolina, who has been designing some amazing games. Hopefully you've been hearing about some of his stuff lately, including the game you see in the background. That's called Control, and you can actually find that in in target right now and of course we always have our online game nights every wednesday and saturday we have gaming in our discord sorry just checking a message real quick here okay uh we have um we play board games and video games in our discord make sure to come check that out if you're not part of our discord jump on into that there should be a um link in the description so check that out for sure this week, we'll also be continuing our online league for Super Smash Brothers. On Wednesdays, we do our Smash and Learn sessions, opportunity to learn about different characters, techniques, levels. It's a great way, uh, regardless of what skill level you are, to learn some cool new techniques. Uh, on Fridays, we do our King of the Ring, which is a, a scrimmage, an opportunity for players to come together, play, and practice, um, and level up your skills in preparation for those tournaments we have on Saturday. So we've already had two placement tournaments, and we are coming up with two more tournaments this weekend alone. We have a ranking system in place at bracket.com. That's bracket with two A's. And we will be hosting the silver tier tournament as well as the bronze tier tournament. So you can still sign up here at the at the links you see um, on the screen. You can sign up for the Potions and Pixels League. It is completely free and open, uh, or I should say designed for all skill levels and ages in mind. But of course, you all came here for Indie Game Club. And again, the four games that we will be looking at today, as you can see on the screen, are Old Man's Journey, which we'll be playing first here with my daughter followed by Wilmot's Warehouse. And we're actually going to be playing the co-op version of this. My son's going to join us for that. A really fun game. That Both of these games I've actually played before. Hot Pot Panic. And then finally, we will be bringing you a game about literally doing your taxes, which we think there's a bit more there. We actually haven't played that one, but we're, we're really excited about that. So without further ado, we're going to jump into Old Man's Journey. Um, this one I'm really excited to play because we actually, like you and I, beat this together. Yeah. Yeah, we actually have played this one already. This is actually, I think, the first and maybe only game I actually took the time to like write a full review of on Steam. Um, we really enjoyed this game. I think we beat it when it first came out, and I think we beat it all in one sitting. So we're hoping to, to jump in on that again right here. Um, you excited to play? Yep. All right, let's do this. Super fun. Hopefully the audio levels for everybody sounds good. Let us know. Uh, let me get in this multi-stream chat. Make sure we are good here. Let me adjust this a little bit. I think we're good. Okay. All right, you ready, Lake? Yep.
That's a beautiful game, isn't it, baby? Mm -hmm. I love the, the colors. So do you remember how this worked? Do you remember this? Oh uh, yeah, you put down these things to show them more you Yeah, you put down this little marker. It's a really light puzzle game. So we're trying to get from one area to another. You can kind of see from, in this case, from the foregro um, the foreground to the background. It's a really beautiful story. If you're able to, we hope you can stick around for the, the entirety of it. You want to click? Go for it, baby. Yeah, it's a really beautiful story told in a, in a in a really cool way. There's actually no like dialogue or um, both written and voice, but it's a really I think they did a really good job making a powerful that. story. Mm -hmm. You click on him. Such a beautiful game. I hear fireworks. Oh, press that. Um, Franco, I see you in the in the chat. I actually, have you tried it yet, or are you just saying that just from like looking at it? Because it yeah, it has that. I see the analogy with brothers. Yeah, the analogy being especially that it it tells kind of an emotional story without um, without like I said, voiced dialogue or written dialogue at all. Um, it is similar in that way. I think it, the, the gameplay is fundamentally different. Um, I don't know if I'd say less fun, though. I, I really like the, the gameplay style. It's a, a very casual style of puzzle solving. Hmm, which way? Um, well, you'll see right here, baby, that we're about to do... Look at this. Oh, yeah, I remember this. You can pull this down. So this is the fundamental mechanic here, is that you can... But, yeah, I see what you're saying. It's click and play, but this is the fundamental mechanic here, that you're actually adjusting like the surface area to get him from one place to another. So if you can't reach Can a certain place, part? yeah, go for it. So you should put that. So pull this down. See? And then now he's able to get there. And we can move it up here. So the cool thing about this, uh, Franco, is that it's like, I, I feel that, I don't think it's explicitly stated, but I think the idea is that you're essentially reliving his memories, like he's kind of retracing his steps, and so you're kind of reliving his memories, so that, that it actually makes sense from like a thematic standpoint, it's not like you're just mani physically manipulating topography or whatnot, you're actually, um, because I don't want to say, man, do you want me to refer to you as your Twitch name? Alright, I'll do that. Last time you said it was fine. You're killing me, man. You're killing me, Smalls. I think you need to get Caddy. We're gonna follow the cat. Let's see, we can lift like this. Now we can climb up here. You see that? That blocks the steps. Now sir. you can't get down. <laughs> That's what I'll do. We call you sir the whole time. We'll see if we can adjust that. those lines you can't actually make any adjustments to that surface. Thank you. 
new kitty meant something. Just because kitties are cute. This should allow us to hop from one to the other. You see that there? Yep. This is honestly more beautiful than I even remembered it when we played it. Doggy, now doggy is wet. Doggy, are you wet now? Here. I think that's one of the things I like so much about this game is it layers kind of the story there. All those memories slowly over time. Where are we? Let's see. Yeah, Franco, this might not be the game for you. This isn't this isn't the action pack game that you probably are interested in, but I definitely really love it. I don't know if I'm familiar with that one. You might have to send me a link to that one. I'm not sure if I know about that game. Yeah, Frank, I, I don't agree with you on that one, man. I, I don't think so, because they're actually, I feel like, you know, you heard me in the last Indie Game Club discussions um, talking about how um, I heard the notification for the alert box. For some reason, the alert's not coming up. So whoever did something, I don't see anything on the feed. But appreciate it. I'll, I'll, hopefully it'll refresh here in a moment. Um, but I don't... I don't think that's actually the case in this case, um, Frank, because I think this game, as you'll see, like, oh, you slowly have to introduce to certain there. mechanics to the game. I think he's supposed to be down there. So there is actual gameplay. It's not just like an animated story that you push through. So what I think, maybe, is we actually need to lower this one first. So this is a good example. Like, you actually have to adjust the land. There we go. And so now we can go over here. You see this? So it touches here. Turtle? You go to turtle before turtle. There's the turtle. I want to play. I want to play. Alright. Yeah, I see what you mean. You're talking about like if he just kept on going, but then you have to coordinate that, you know? You're kind of talking as if it was like almost like lemmings, right? Like where he's just kind of walking and then you have to adjust it. Jeez, you're horrible, man. 
You're ruining- you're ruining a beautiful experience, my friend. <laughs> you gotta- you just gotta take the opportunity to try it. I think you'd actually really like it. Alright, let's see this, baby. And the music's great, too. Man, this is a great one. I'm not- I'm not gonna let you, uh... You ruin this one, Franco. <laughs> Alright, so see babe, I think we need to, so we can adjust this. And we can put those there. Hmm, let's see what's up with these alerts. Sorry folks, we're gonna test something real quick. I think that worked there. I'm not sure what, what's going on with our alert box here, hopefully. That's straightened out here in a minute. Okay, look, so we adjust this. See, that's the thing, I think you just, I think you're jumping into Zedda a little too early now, because I think you're assuming that the game is just like a, um, is just like an animated movie, when in reality you are actually participating in, um, like these are light, like light puzzles that we're doing. happy with that. I would be happy. Hey, in the chat. He's saying, saying Del Adele. What's going on, man? How are you? 
had a good time with that one game last week, the uh, uh, Night of the Consumers. We got four more lined up for tonight. Uh, I don't think we want to just fall down here. Yeah, I want to see you play that sometime, man. I, I, I think you would. Uh, I think you do pretty good with that. We had a good discussion about it on Thursday as well. I know how to play that. I think we need to stand here first so that we can move this green hill, baby. What do I play for? Walk up there. You know what? Get back down there so no, 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 I no, no, no. no, I'm not alone. I make it low. No, we don't want to do that because then you're going to fall. No, I'm, I'm pressing that. So yeah, have to because I think I think we were close to having it there. Oh, you just need ten boxes. Stay, stay, and then stay can, right there. Um, stay. Once you unload ten boxes you win. I think it unlocks some other modes as well though. I figured it out. I'm pressing what I need to. That's what I was I think we're gonna do that. Let's see then he's gonna go on the green hill and go here. Yeah, I think that was the thing. Yeah, I had no idea about that game when we, when we first started playing it. That was like my first time. Uh, I, I went into it completely blind. Oh no, baby, don't do that. We're going to fall to the very bottom. Here. Fine. <laughs> Alright, let's redo this one, quick. It was super fun. Yeah, you had some good tips in there in terms of getting the customers. I think that was key. Once we got the customers, like, satisfied, then it was a lot easier to, um, to pull everything off. Alright, so we get the bridge. Stand on this, and we move this bridge hill up. Turn it right here. Wait, we go up there and move it. Right yeah, and then we move this thing up right there. Now and then we move purple. Can I move purple? Oh, I see what you're gonna do. Okay. 
Okay, that works. I think that, yeah, if Miyazaki made a game, I mean, like, I can certainly imagine the style like that. I think you're right, Franco, about that. Where's, where's but I think, like, I, I, hopefully you're starting to see it, but I think the gameplay, I think, matches quite nicely with that, with the whole concept behind this game. But, Frank, I don't think you're, you're not too into these games to, in general, so I, I don't know if I'm going to be able to convince you otherwise. Wait, I'm just going to put you right here. You know why? I think we're supposed to, like, move this. So, but, I think we're supposed to move this. No, Frank, I totally would be down for you to be an, on an episode of Indie Game Club, but I'm honestly terrified what you would say, man. Oh, you can move it. Okay, move it. I'm trying to move it like... You're welcome, but I might have to do like a 20 second, second delay to, um, to like censor you or something. Master! Good job, baby. Nice. I'm gonna jump in a future episode, man. Uh, I'm totally down to discuss that. <laughs> uh, keep, keep going. What was that? What was that show we were talking about doing for you at Magfest? It was like, um, like overrated with Frank or it, like it's trash or your your favorite game is trash or it was called something like that. Uh, yeah. Keep thinking out of that baby. Right. Hey. What the probably gonna go on the bench. Yeah. Yeah. He has those opportunities to have a little he has the memories, right? I think you wanna click on the fisherman. Sure. Or maybe the bell. The bell for a Franco, how's the audio levels on your end, man? Can you hear it? Okay, we just lowered the the game sound. See, they got married. Maybe. A new village? Anytime there's a bench, this man takes a rest. <laughs> Even if he just did it, he's still gonna Here's sit the train. again. Oh, I remember this part. I'm yeah. going train train. You're supposed to go on train train. 
right? We're supposed to go on train. I think so, yeah. I think you do. Yeah. Train, train, we are going on you. See? Train, train. Mm -hmm. Here we come. I think you might be able to adjust the land during this part, too. Wait, no. Yes, we're going uh -oh, fast. Babe. You see this? There you go. You need to go faster. Remember, you got to connect the tracks. While they go. So they're going to stop for me to fix tracks. Then they go. I don't think, do you need to drag it? No. Yeah, I think it does automatically. Just grab the track up there. And then... This is easy. Yeah, let's see if we can do it a little bit ahead of time. No, we don't need it. Stop for us. We don't need it, okay. Dad. That way we can do it and it won't stop the train. I don't really want to. I don't want the train to stop, so I have time. Oh, it's about to be one. Train to stop. Once these guys are off of that track, I'm going to move it. This one you got to lift up, and I think you got to pull that one down. There you go. Oh. Not fully though. There. You go. There you go. Hurry up. So the thing, Franco, the, about this gameplay that I think matches pretty well, though, is it's like this whole idea of him kind of taking this journey, and I think it's almost, if I'm not mistaken, it almost seems like analogous to him, like, recalling, like, the way back, or his, this is supposed to, th this gameplay is supposed to, like, represent either, like, memories of what it was to, like, go back, or, or the whole idea of just piecing your way along the journey. So I think that the mechanics of the game make a lot of sense when you consider it from that point of view. I agree, especially this part is not like too challenging. You're really just connecting kind of pieces. It's more kind of the novelty, I think, of riding the train. But the other parts of the game, I think, legitimately have have a bit of a challenge. This game is definitely not not a difficult one by any means. But you can't just like completely autopilot through it. <laughs> a trapped part of the thing. Well, I don't think it's, yeah, I don't think his memory is like, that's, I don't, I don't think that's like the fundamental p part of it. Um, or lack of, if that's what you mean. Go. I want to make part of it. I want to make part of it. No, you can't, yeah, you can't, remember, you can't adjust any of the parts that he's on. Yeah, that's the best way to put it. Reconnecting the memories. I think that's... Yeah. You've seen me perpetually lacking sleep uh, on these streams. I'm struggling. I need to get a good night's rest tonight for uh, for the conversation tomorrow. But I think that's a really good way to putting it. Reconnecting You're the memories. Up there. Although this is supposed to be... <laughs> you're horrible, man. This is, this is why you're not going to be a guest on Indie Game Club. This is exactly why you're not. Okay. This is simple. I do like the layering of music as well. Good. Easy. 
This one, under this one, you gotta pull, pull oh, out. Yeah. I fell you down. Look, I can kind of grab them. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna grab them. Mm. That was easy. Two different tracks. I guess you could have taken two different routes. Look. There. You're honking? Yeah. Okay. Yay. This is super simple. Just move. Alright, pull that one. Yeet. Cool, I think we did that part. I knew you were supposed to hop on train train. It's probably gonna trigger another memory. I'm gonna click maybe the girl on the airplane. Um, I just wanna do it in order. Okay. Maybe the teddy bear. Okay. Wait. Thanks. I think it's, try that airplane. What airplane? The girl, she's holding a toy airplane. Like, who's touching? Who's touching the airplane? I'm just looking outside. Are we missing something? It should be easy. I want to try. Here's a map. Looks like he had a daughter too, remember? What happened to the daughter? I do not know. Are you ready, babe? Mm -hmm. Disappear. Hocus pocus. Disappear. Here's what we're supposed to be. So for those, those just joining us, we're playing Old Man's Journey. This is one of four games we're going to be playing tonight, and one of four games we will be discussing this week on Indie Game Club. We'll be having that episode live on Thursday with, um, with, with other guests to discuss and analyze these games. Wait, we could build... We're leaving. Oh, I remember this. Mm -hmm. I know what to do. Show me. Sheepy. Uh, don't we have to like move the sheep with us or something? At one point, I'm trying to remember. Come on, sheepies. Click sheeps. No sheeps. No sheeps. I'm gonna, I'm gonna follow you. I think if you click them, they move, baby. Then I'm not gonna click them. I wanna click them. Where would they go? How did they go there? Let's move this. Mm. 
keep his way. <gasps> They're coming towards me. Do you love me? Hey, don't, don't do that. Yay. Sheepy. Sheepy. Stop it. These sheepies are mean. I'll click the sheepies. Click, click. Yes. Your interpretations, man. Sheepies. <laughs> Alright, let's see. <gasps> so I think we can adjust. It's up here again. I think sheepies are supposed to go where we go. can't cross over them. Okay, so then we gotta push them here. I think and then we gotta push them to the edge, and then we gotta go stand over here. You see that? There's a way to like get them to hop over there. Keep on pressing them. Wait, I think I know what to do. I think I know what to do. Can I try? What do you think? I'm gonna try to get sheepies. Sheepies, come on. I'm gonna click you. I'm gonna click you until you move. Yeah. Wait. Hmm. I think I know. I think I know what to do. This maybe we can get them over here. I think I know what to do. All right, show me. Okay. Go near them. I get scared of you. Because I guess they don't. They don't ever pass you, right? So. over there. They're gonna nose me. They can't get past and eat near me. There we go. So once you get it so that they can't pass you. Then you can do it. Okay, let's see. Hmm. Can't pull this back. Don't press the sheep. Oh, there we go. So now it's connected here. I want to wait. Are we supposed to? Go? Don't tell yeah, me. We want to get to that bench. No. Why bench? That's where he gets his memories. I know. Why a bench? There you go. It won't let me move it. I think you want to. You need to connect that one first. Okay. I think Can we need I to get it? on this one. Hmm. I think you need to, Yeah, there you go. And then let's then pull this one down right here. Good. You're coming right here. And then I think you can just click on the bench Actually, and go. Yeah. Bench. Just You're going to the bench. I know. Wait, can you go back there? I want to go back there after this moment. I think after he sits, we're going to go back there. I know. And I want to serve away in the bed. And here's the bed. Okay. Oh, will you follow me? Turn. Boat. Turn. You want to click. click on the big boat? Okay. See what happens there. Click. Click. It goes into a memory. Into memory. Hmm. 
my muddy. Are we going inside the boat's head? What is this? Is that... I think so his daughter's pulling him towards... to pay attention and be at this party and he's wanting to go out there and be on the boats. He wanted a ride. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Uh-oh. Look at that one. Yay. Keep going! What happened to Why does this boat look like that? It was all clean. Franco. What happened to Bobo? Oh, that's bad. What happened to Bobo? We're going up here. Go up here. He's Come taking on. quite a journey, isn't he, baby? Yep. Go back home. I don't think it's back home. Yeah, go right there. to connect. So you so, can't move the one that you're standing on. I know. I'm trying to get to this. I'm trying to get to this one over here. But I can't because I'm on this one and I can't get back. Which one are you talking about? Are you talking about that dragon cancer? Is that that game? Mm -hmm. Yes, I got there. Whee! Nope. Right there. Yes, right there. Get that down. Remember, you can't adjust the one you're on, babe. Aww. I wish you can. Well, that's what makes it a challenge. So let's see. We can't move this one. Can we go back a little? I don't think so. I can. So I think. Do you think boat is key? Say that again. Do you think boat is key? I don't think. Oh, look. So if we adjust that. Oh, I want to do... See, now he'll go here, and then he'll climb up. Oh. Oh, well, we, no, no, because then he's going to fall down this waterfall. Remember that? So we got to adjust it so that he's able to walk. to go in waterfall. I don't think they're going to be able to do that. I'm going to put that down and you know how I want to But now, it. look at this. So I think when we walk over here onto the waterfall, because this is blocking the waterfall... Uh-oh. No, it's not working now. Let's see. How about we just go down the waterfall? Well, then we'll just fall right here. We'll still be alive. I know, but then we'll just have to restart everything. I know. So if we do this, then we'll be able to walk over the waterfall. 
Uh, see? Why is he hopping back? To he always hops from hill to hill. But he didn't need to hop to a hill. He was already on the right hill. I think we gotta move the sheep. Remember, this was, I think, that's the tricky part about this puzzle. Because remember, he can't walk past the sheep, and they won't walk past him. Oh, I know what to do. Move the sheep first. So we can get them to go over there, see? And these guys will need to hop over here. There we go. I like the bell. I know what to do. Got no sheep out of our Hmm. I'm gonna climb up this hill first. Sheepy. Move it, move it, come on. Right here, move it. Sheep, move it. Yeah, sheep, move it. Down there, yeah. I'm gonna drive this down. Yeah, I'm trying to get up there and hold him. I think we need to lift this up first. Like that. See that? Could I do it? Yeah. Go up there. Sheeps. Okay. The sheeps are on the right spot. So I can do it. Remember, once you stand on it, though, maybe you're not going to be able to adjust it. I know. So you're going to be stuck. No, look. Oh, okay. So I shift the camera. I'll turn that off. And hey, there you go. See, I know what I'm doing. Press sheet. Maybe I need to move these guys somewhere. So I'm going no, I'm trying to move these guys. I think maybe can get them to go there. Or not over there. That's what I'm trying to get them to move. Hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and just press those guys. The leader was there. Well, I think we want them to be right there right now. Yeah, I think you're right. I think what we want to do, maybe we can go over here and then watch this. We can push them here and then we can get them to go down here. And now that they're over there, we can go the walk right by them. Wait, yeah, I want to use bow. And... Yeah, we should be able to walk all the way to that map right now. <laughs> I passed Bench so he cannot take a memory. Right here, right here, right there. No Bench, no Bench, no Bench. Why do you always need a Bench? The bench is just not like you. All right, let's see the memory. I think you gotta click on the map to see the memory. Oh, okay. I'll get where I'm going. I clicked everywhere. Click, click. Right, click the map. I know it's empty. Daddy, the map here. Oh, The light looks like snow. It does, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Oh, it looks like he ended up going on his boat journey, huh?
means we're going back. Okay. So now we. I don't, this was no. We weren't going back. This is a different place. But I remember. We stopped by another place. But remember, it was different. It had the bell and it had that fisherman. That's not the one I thought about. It's like a different one. That kind of looks like this. All right, you want to try this? Mm. Um. I think we can get up here, right? Is there any dying in this game? No. You can't mess up. I mean, you can mess up these parts, but you're not, you don't die. Once he's on the hill, you can't move him. So if we can't connect this next piece down, then we're gonna have to take him off. There we go. You see that? Now those are connected. If we can adjust it like that. And now you can click here. I'm gonna see if um if there's like any food. Because I'm hungry. <laughs> you wanna go check with mom? I asked Yon for ramen and he said. Let me go check. She's gonna be right back here. All right, let's see. I think I remember this one. So for those just joining us, thanks for jumping in. Uh, we are playing Old Man's Journey. It is a um, game, kind of like as the title says, about an old man taking a journey and reco uh, recollecting all sorts of memories and piecing things together of his past. Uh, and the main like gameplay mechanic is you're just kind of adjusting like. We will be right back. Alright, we're back. 
Hey, I see you, Barbastic. How are you? Yes, go check on Ramen. <laughs> You're right about that. We'll be playing, as you know, um, Hot Pot Panic as well coming up today, so it's on point, on theme. Bard, did you try this one? Are you interested in trying it out? I think this just takes us back, right? Why won't it let us continue down there? Hmm. All right, I think we get to try that again. All right, so we knocked down the wall. Remember this part of the game? No. Uh oh, the flag's gone. It's a memory of him and his wife. They get in an argument because he kept on wanting to go out on his boat adventures. Yeah, I really love the way this game reveals its story, honestly. I think those little memories allow you to fill in kind of the rest of the details. Tells a kind of a relatable story without going overboard. So we gotta destroy this wall. this wall though. That thing will break it. Yeah, we just need it to roll though. The problem is I can't drag it down anymore. Oh, but you know what? We can lift it up, so I think this might be... So instead of hitting it from this side, we might want to hit it from this side. Nope, no. There we go. So we want to drop it like that.
so which wall do we gotta destroy? You see me? See that right there? Mm -hmm. So we gotta get this thing to fall there. the camera moving. Are we, are we running into a glitch? The camera should be panning over to the left. What's wrong? Something with this. I think you know what to do. What do you think? Um, like move that down there. Hey, Emmy, how are you? Emmy, have you seen this one before? I'm hoping we haven't got to a little glitch here because, like, we were just on the left side of the screen and, and the camera panned. And now it's not, so let's see if this will work. Hmm, I'm having trouble seeing this as anything but a little glitch, because most of the time in this game, when you walk over here to the left, or to any of the sides, the camera should go back to where the action was over here on this side of the screen. Ah. Uh, Unless I'm missing something, because we already used this oh, no. wheel. Yeah, I wonder if we can restart a section. I wish. We might see. Can we restart one section of it? Oh, I'm a little hesitant to do that, because I don't know if it, how this game saves. Yeah, this is this is a good one. This is old man's journey. Um, although, like I said, you're joining us at a point where hopefully we didn't just glitch out on the game. I, I guess you could say that, Franco. I guess I you could say that. I think you know that. what we're supposed to do. Well, the thing is, so hopefully those who were just watching, Franco, you saw this. Like when we got to this side of the screen, as it always does, it shifted the um, shifted the scene over, shifted the camera. And now. Okay. 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 Go wash hands. Okay. Cool. All right. Let's see if we can figure this thing out here. Maybe if we try going all the way back over here, we can reset the scene a bit. Try and see if this works. Hopefully, this will get us back here. Emmy, I think you'd really love this game and the way it portrays the story. There we go. That's what it was supposed to do the first time around. Okay, so a little bit of a glitch to have to retrace our steps. So I think we're gonna have to try to intentionally not go back here. We. And now we can go this way. If we lift this up and it should smash it, right? There we go. Whee! <laughs> it could fly. Actually, let's see if we can pull this down further. 
far as we can nope. pull. Yeah, I think that's the furthest we can pull it. Okay, you pull that up. Hmm. Are we supposed to go down the waterfall? Are these connected now, do you think? Yeah, I think. Or is that an actual wall? We can't lift this up. Maybe that's what we need to do. Maybe, wait, maybe it needs to break this. If we go down here, then we can have this wheel roll through. Let's try this one more time. Hopefully we won't run into glitches here. this thing right here. Because it looks like they're connected. It does look like they're connected now, doesn't it? Let's see, now it won't let us click through. that wheel anymore. Oh, there it is. Did you see it? Uh-huh. I was like, Wee! And it flew away. Oh, be careful with that little. See, the thing is, we can't adjust it. It's up top there. I really remember getting stuck on stuff the first time we played through this. I'm sure this is going to be something super obvious here. It's probably destroying this wall, I'd imagine, because I don't think we can walk through it. Can I just do something real quick? Yeah, I, just want to see to I just want to see if something works. Somehow this happened. Wait, did this happen before? Yeah, maybe we can get that wheel up. Okay, I just tried to do something. Go for it. Did that. Wait, did you see that thing fall? Yeah, that did something, didn't it? Let me see. I'm gonna walk right here so I can see. It, it did nothing. Let's so see, I just wanna do something. Go for it. Let me... You wanna see if you can fall? Is that what you're gonna try? No, I'm trying to see if you could go up there and just. Oh, and just leave the level? Yeah. That would be funny, wouldn't it? Little secret area. I just want to leave. Oh, I thought I could just leave. Just. I can't adjust this. Rain, rain, rain. Oh my gosh, was it that? I think that might have been it. Maybe that's all we needed to do. Wait, don't. So I think we walk up here first. That was the only thing we had to do. So I think if we go here, and then we adjust this down like this. And then hop back here. And then just pull this. This side right here. Don't tell me. There we go. You see that? Don't. I'm just mad. Did he just hop through he grass? He did look like he hopped through the, the hill there. Did he cross the waterfalls? Can I jump down waterfalls? You want to go down that one? Yes. Go for it. Marty. He know we like going down waterfalls. Poor guy. <laughs> he, <laughs> going down here. he just falls on his butt. Okay. I'm not running into any. Okay, so now we gotta do these puzzles right here. Oh, so that's why that one Wee! wheel needed to go there. Wheels. Wheels of hope. Oh, look. We did it. The stone book. Woohoo! Oh, wait. 
Wait, how did that not do? See, Frank, though, I told you there was some, some gameplay to it. It wasn't just an animated uh, kind of visual novel sort of thing. Stay tuned for Hot Pot Panic then, Franco. That, that, you might like that game. It's a game about, um, like it's like an all-you-can-eat situation and you're trying to eat as much food as you can while also holding a conversation. Which is kind of how I feel like streaming today's games. I'm not gonna lie, I'm super, super low energy today. Just, uh, as tired as I ever can be. But we're gonna get through these games, folks. We're getting through these games. With the help of my kids, the next game, Wilmot's Warehouse, my son's gonna help us play. Could I even play? Yeah. Yay! It might Is this be a scary game? It's not a scary game. Good. It's not a scary game. Let's see. So we can almost lift these to each other. This barely budges at all. Oh my goodness, of course. Jeez. Oh, I'm slipping today, folks. I'm slipping today. Okay, so now I have it on here. And I should be able to now walk onto this one. So if you're just joining us for Old Man's Journey, like the fundamental like mechanic here is that you as you're kind of wandering through this journey, uh, which will make sense at the end, uh, I guess you're kind of finding your way back, and so this either represents like the, the challenge of finding your way back or rec recollecting your memories. And so you can manipulate like the topography, but except on the piece that you're currently like standing on. So now we can finally adjust this piece which I think we know we need to get it over here, yeah. So I think we need to, oh, no. So we first need to lift it up to draw it all the way down here. So that's his house? Yeah, that's his daughter. So it looks like, unfortunately, it's a memory of him leaving his family behind to to pursue a life at sea. I would go 
back to my family. I would stay with my family. I think he's going back home. To his family. Where is he? I'm about to <laughs> ban you, my friend. <laughs> you have the uh, the ability to take a sincere moment, or uh, an emotional moment, I should say, um, and um, try to destroy it. Alright, now we got the sheep again. So remember with these, we gotta click, we can send them over here, right? And then we can go here. Send these sheep over there. And that should be good. shall see soon. I don't really want to say anything since we you probably don't remember this, but yeah, you know, I mean I know you, you remember, remember this end? game. I don't think you remember the end. Do you remember the end? I do remember the end, yeah. This is of the four games we're playing tonight, we have beat two of these, including this one. I think we beat this towards uh when it was when it was released. And then Wilmot's Warehouse will be playing next. Um, which is a really good game, and we're actually going to be playing a co-op version of that. Oops. Oh, so we want one of these sheep here. Hmm. But you know what? I think if we stand here, then we can send this sheep over there, walk over here, and send this sheep over here, and we're going to be good. So the sheep kind of act as barriers. You can click on them and they'll move. Um, but they won't go past you, you won't go past them. There we go. And now we're at the hot air balloon. I'm I think we're towards ride. the end of the game here. What'd you say, babe? Gonna take a ride. Yeah. I think he's going back to his family. Is he, Daddy? You shall see soon enough, baby. But are we close to the I don't want to spoil it for those who are watching. <laughs> but are we close to the ending? We are close to the end. Good. I think so. I think this. Yeah, this game was about an hour and a half to beat. How many hours has it been? It's close to an hour and a half. Okay, good. Do you want to go in a hot air balloon sometime?
boat one day. I know we have been before, I know. You want to go on a boat again? Mm -hmm. We'll do that soon. Fun. Yeah, I just absolutely love the visuals and the, and the sound design and music in this game. That's awesome. Frank, I don't know if you're serious or not, man. If you're, if you're, I don't even know how to respond to that. Something tells me you might be serious. All right, let's see. Um, Go down the wharf and land on. I sheep. think if we move the sheep first. I want to jump on the sheep. Can we get the sheep over there? Because we want to drop here off of the waterfall, right? Wait, first can I do something? Press those. Wait, keep them right here. Keep the sheep right there. Keep the sheep right here. Where? Do you know why? Why? I want to jump oh, on no. them. Oh, no. Wait, you want to land on them? I want to jump on them. <laughs> Wee! I kicked their face. Oh, now how are we going to get around it, babe? Oh, no. <laughs> Press on the lead. No, now we... Bye. Okay, now they'll go here. So let's do this over again. I think we had the right idea the first time around. Bye. There we go. So let's get back up here. Hmm. These guys. No. No. Land on them. No, no, we're not landing on them. Wee! We're gonna get these over here. There we go. That's what we wanted to do. And then we go down here. The sheeps. I wanna land on the sheeps again. That was fun. I kicked their face. I'm gonna press something. I'm gonna slide down. I just wanna do something, look. I'm just, I wanted to slide down this big one. You big might be rock. right, that's where, up there, big rock. where we need to go. Yeah, but first we need to go I want to go up big rock. Big, giant rock. Climb up the big rock. I think you're rock. right, I think that's where we need to go. Big. I want to go on Big Rock. The only reason I want to go on Big Rock is to jump. I'm talking about this rock. I know, I know. Yeah, I think the problem though... That's blocking it. ...is how do we get... I think we have to stand on this. Mm -hmm. Let me adjust that. Okay. Yep. I want to jump down Big Rock. Here. Go for it, Big waterfall, here we come! Yay! Wee. Okay. Let's not go right here. Right here. Right here. Go up, big, big, big. Yeah, he's supposed to go up here. Huh? Yeah, hold on. Let's see, because I think we're supposed to... Uh, so we can only move that a little bit. Let's see how much we can move this one here. Because it will fall right here. Ow. Not right here. That hurt. Get right here. Oh, we should be in the There we go. Uh oh, you wanna go down this big one? Yes! Go for it. Yes! Waterfall. Let's slide into more water. 
This is a dream. Am I going deep underwater? Poor guy. I thought that was a shallow pool. Wait, what? him growing older at sea and missing his wife and family. Well then, I bet he's going home. You shouldn't have left. I just want to try something. It's not about moving, I think about going. We should. I want to put that right there. So he can't move now. Walking through the ship. Is he magical? He's literally walking through the ship. I thought he was gonna hop on the ship. And then jump. Hmm, that's the furthest we can go down. <laughs> Did he 
swim? Or does he have teleporting powers? Does he swim or did he teleport? Swim or teleport? Swim or teleport? head or something or he fell, when he fell in the water. I don't think this is like truly really what happened. You know what I mean? Yeah. He fell to the bottom and bumped his head. Like when he fell down that waterfall. Yeah. Are we trying to get over to there? underwater sequence as much. I really don't. So this is him, his memory of him coming home and, and seeing how his home was essentially abandoned. So his family wasn't there anymore. Where are they? Did they die? So he tried to come back home at one point and they weren't there. Seems like they moved on too. Yeah. How is he shivering underwater? And how is the blanket not wet? How is his beard not wet? I'm just confused. Can Final stretch here, folks. I think we're out of the water. We are out of the water. We are getting close to finishing this one. So this is a cool little like mountainy effect where you gotta keep going back and forth. sad, isn't it? Yes. He just wanted to go on a boat ride, and then he didn't tell anybody to. Well, he but did. But then when he, he missed his family and 
came back. The thing then... is, he shouldn't have left his family to begin with, right? Like, that was the thing. He, like, abandoned his family so that he could go and... He was kind of being selfish, right? Or, or definitely being selfish. Because he wanted to go... He wanted to go on his journeys in the water. And his wife wasn't happy with that. And she didn't want... And he couldn't go on those journeys with his daughter. So he left his whole family. So... But then when he missed them and came back, they left him. Well, I think at that point, yeah, you know, he left them, so, um, so he didn't take the opportunity to learn what, what they were going to do. But I think at the end, he's going to find them. Well, we shall see. We're right close to the end. Wait. I can see from far away. That looks like their house. It kind of does, doesn't it? Yeah. Is that their house? Are we going home? Oop. Oop, isn't that connected? Look, look, look. There we go. You gonna hop on? Mm -hmm. Don't tell me he is. Please don't, 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 don't hop on. Don't walk. Just walk there. I think he just like he had those memories while he was underwater. I don't think he actually was doing all this. Yeah, I don't think he was doing all that. No, we're not supposed to drag this up. I think we get on this and then drag this whole thing down. There we go. You kind of went that way and see what happened. Just joining us, we are near the end of Old Man's Journey. This is one of the four games we're playing tonight. Streaming live on Facebook, Twitch, and YouTube. So thank you all for joining us. Let's see. Mm, it's 
also after he left his family. That's that's where the game started, remember? Mm -hmm. He built his own home and lived on his own. family after that but we'll see what happens next yeah they're definitely heading home he's definitely heading somewhere <laughs> can you tell me then hmm I promise, sending's coming up right here. We will see the ending right here. Just be patient, baby. How many hours Oof. has it been? It has not been, it's been about an hour and a half. Remember, we, it, we started with the intro, so we're about, we're about right here. supposed to click him. Want to try that? I'm talking. So click, so you click this button. First, I'm going to just going to open these doors. I think we got to try something a little different. Let's see. Ending. I'm just gonna ask you that. Um, it's a bit of, it's a bit sad and it's a bit happy. How about that? What do you think about that? Uh, I refuse for us to get stuck on this part here. Okay, there we go. Are you serious? All we need to do is shift the perspective. Okay. He walked a little. I'm just close. This guy's magic. This guy, yeah. And there's the bench. See the bench? Yep. No. You gotta get that bench. Not the bench. I think now we can raise this thing up. Not I think that's what we're the supposed to do. Bench. Raise it as high as we possibly could. Not the bench. Where's wait, where is the gun? Not the bench. There we go. Not the, please, no bench. No. 
Not the bench. The bench is everywhere. Please, Dad, just no, no bench. Well, keep watching. The bench is important. It gives Not us the memories. Bench. I don't want him to sit over there. his beds. Why does he need that if he could walk by himself? It just helps him. It's like a walking stick. Is that his this wife? This game was just a tearjerker. <laughs> Is that his boy. wife? Yeah. Oh. Everybody died. Well, his his wife did. But you'll see, there's still some more. Wait, we're still going on with the journey. Yeah. <laughs> no, there's not much more journey left. You'll see. Just watch this. Okay. So that wasn't a memory? Well, no, that's just happened to us right here. Keep watching. I know. I like this, though. Is this the ending? Yeah. Wait, why is there a kid right there? That's her kid. That's his grandchild. The hey, Mystic Titanus. Hey, thanks for the bits. Thank you so much. Yay! Mystic, I need to get a chance to. Um, I know you, you stream kind of early earlier on in the, the day, but I, I, I know you've been playing a lot of Roblox. That's my daughter's favorite game right here. Roblox. You might have to might have to find some times for you to watch that, babe. What do you think? You excited? Or we can watch some of the clips. Because I got lots of bits to throw your way. I appreciate I appreciate the love for sure. Roblox! The boat's about to break. It's rocking. The boat's about to break. They're going to be in the water and we're going to have them do something else. So I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. What'd you think, love? Super good. Well, clap it. it up. We liked that one a lot, didn't we? It was super cool. That was a lot of fun. Hopefully you all enjoyed that as well. That's a... As we as we said before, now that's we did one of the two games parts. of the night that we had played before. We played this when it was first released. I don't actually recall the release date, but um, I'll have that, all that info by our Thursday show. Whoever plays Roblox, definitely show those developers some love if you can. 
we are gonna play we're gonna be switching it up to another game now um Lay, can you grab your brother yeah i'm going to get him, gonna get him? we're gonna be switching it over next to um wilmot's warehouse what's that can i grab him can you tell him to grab his chair as well Grab your chair, Yon. Here, grab your, grab your chair, Yon. I was having trouble because the cord that I have, it, the grip is broken, so I might watch. The oh, grip okay. is you don't do two plants? Well, no, it's not that I don't want. Alright, we are back. Sorry, give us just one moment to get this next one going. Okay. 
All right, here we go. So we are playing Wilmot's Warehouse. I have not played this game since it came out. It's been a long, well, it's been a couple years, I think. We actually featured this at one of our um, events over at Camp North End. Um, it has a single player and a co-op feature. We're gonna end up actually just playing the, the single player part right now. I probably will play it for like about an hour or so just because this is one of those games that you can play for hours on end. Um, I got pretty far in my first playthrough. I don't think I actually lost on my first playthrough. So we're gonna start a new file here on normal. volume up. Uh-oh. Here we go. Okay. So the banana needs to go there. Pick it up and put it down. So this game is described as for people who like organizing things. Drop one block too, see? And you can just pick up one and move it. Are you gonna make it perfectly in order? You'll see. Like this is a real this is a really interesting game. It's hard to compare it to anything else. It's slightly a bit like what we played with um slightly a bit what we played last week with um, Night of the Consumers, where you're trying to find where certain things go. So you're trying to organize, you're essentially organizing a warehouse. It reminds me, I guess, of like working at like an Amazon warehouse, you're like a fulfillment center. Um, and so you make these categories. So we can like put winter stuff here, for example. And we can drop that all off. And then it says hats. This is the one thing I remember just being a little bit confused about the controls, but we'll figure this out. There we go. Oh, this is a, yeah, this is supposed to show you that um, in that case, I don't remember there actually being a tutorial like this the first time. I wonder if this was updated after the game was released. Maybe this was in it, I just don't recall it. But in that case, it was supposed to show you that you had the categories for winter, you had the categories for hats, um, but then you got a winter hat, so where do you put it? So that's like the whole idea behind this game is it's like you're trying to figure out exactly how to organize things and get them to the right customers. Because as you can see here, the customers want certain things and then you want to see if you can bring it to them. Is that like a time that you need to get there? Yes, that's important. I'm gonna turn up the volume here. Yeah, here. Does that help? Yeah, thank you. Okay, so it says training complete. Congratulations, you have now finished your training. You can always refer to the important notice if you need more help. Time to start doing it for real. There's a new delivery about to start. So before we do this, folks, oh, exit to menu. I don't want to do that. I want to say there's a control button. There's some control schemes. Okay, so what do we have? These kind of look like hills almost. Compasses. I don't remember the game starting off with some. Okay. So here we go again with the hats. Maybe we can organize the hats here. We see the compass needs to go. Do we know what people want? No, we don't know what people want. Wasn't there a run button? Maybe you should organize everything so you could have everything where it belongs. Yeah. So you just need to go to a certain spot to get so it. So this is like ocean type stuff, maybe with the tridents. You can see we got two minutes to organize things. So why don't we put like ocean travel things over here, hats, and then 
Should we consider this a hat? A crown? Is that a hat? Yeah. Okay. Because they're kind of separate, just in case. So I know these two things were similar to one another. I probably should have grabbed the rest of the stuff, but I think we're doing okay. We can also organize them by color. Yeah, uh, this is definitely designed for people who enjoy organizing things. For sure. And my brain today is probably not built for this, but uh, I remember absolutely enjoying this game a lot. And already this is bringing back a lot of good memories. Uh, let's think about how we want to Are all of those sheep things, things or no? That's a good question. This is kind of a C thing, isn't it? Yep. Yeah, that's a that's a hook. Yeah, that's a hook. Okay, a so thing. we'll do that there. And then this kind of looks That's a boat. That's a boat thing. Kind of looks like a boat, right? Yeah, that's a boat. And I don't know what this thing is, but why don't we put it looks like a statue kind of? Yeah. These golden statues. Maybe we'll put it let's put it right here. Why? Because it wasn't next to And I think we get some points for finishing early. I'll press A. Okay, okay, so we finished early. I think we get some points for that. Okay, so what are they waiting for? One pill or one of these? Oh, see how much time is left until the next phase in the top left corner. So we're gonna give this person one. This person one. You see how we're giving that to him, babe? Oh, I know where that other one is. Right here, yeah. right? Yeah. Oh, come on, grab it. Bam! You at the top score. Bonus stars you earn for fast service and start the delivery phase. So these tell you the items that we already have. And so we just got these new items. So a few new, looks like hats. I'm gonna tell you all right now, this is probably not gonna go well with my uh, sleep deprived self today. But we're gonna try as best as we can, right, baby? Yep. So we can kind of, oh, we can kind of move them around to see how we want them organized. Is that what they're saying? Oh, cool. I don't remember having the opportunity to do all that. So like hats, right? We're gonna have everything hat related together. It's interesting because with all these like abstracted shapes, like different people see different things. Like I see like a pill and a tablet here, but of course somebody's gonna see something else. Um, where would we put this diamond? Maybe with these shapes, with this shape right here? These kind of things? Yeah, I think. Maybe like an extra category? Where do we have this? Do we have this with that too? Um, no, we had that with that. With that? Okay. And this is gonna, we're gonna have this as like a travel. How about that? These are like all the travel related things. Does that sound good? Mm -hmm. What is this, fun zone? Grid, stats. Okay, you ready to get back to work here? Let's go to fun zone. All right, so let's see what else we got coming up on the shipping container. And then we're gonna be able to buy upgrades to make it easier for us to do stuff. Mm -hmm. This game is very addictive in that regard, for sure. Like, there's so many things you can do with it. All right, we got plenty of hats. You don't really have that much time to, you know. Yeah, I know. I just want to get a few of these hats together since they're the same type. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, I swear there were some like faster ways to control this, like with the triggers or something. Oh, I don't remember what it was. No, hold on, how do I do this? Uh, there's not the orange stuff. I know, I shouldn't be doing this. I'm, I'm wasting time. Okay, I was trying to see, remember how to organize. I know there's like a better way to do this, and that I'm not doing it as Let's well as I should. Let's put that with the sea things. Let's put those with the like, adventure things. 
But we don't need to organize because we don't have that much time there. Yeah, you're right. So no organizing, just place it. Well, I can at least put this one here. And then, where were we gonna, we said we were gonna put this one, like over here, yeah. right? And these things are C. So we don't have a, no. Uh, how do I get it to choose which one I'm going for? There we go. That's the tricky part. I, I do want to kind of go back to the controls just to see what they are, because that is something I remember there was like a different way you could control things to make it easier. But there's not that much time left. I know, I know. We're gonna get it though. So, uh, oh, we know where these go. Yeah, we know where these go. We got one more and we still got 24 seconds, so we're totally fine. Yeah. So let's put it right here, and then I think we can clock in. I don't know if we get a bonus for this. Uh, if you're happy with how the warehouse press A to open the service hatch now, I, th I don't know. I forgot if we get a bonus for this. All right, what do we need? Two of these. That gives us five stars. Now let's go for the crown. So let's go for the things that give us the most. That's these. Two okay, now. Winter hats. Where did we set them? Right here. Look how fast we did it. There we go. Look at us. So now we got some new stuff. We got four new ones. So we're gonna keep on getting more. Eventually the whole warehouse is gonna be full. It gets really hard to do. That's when you get the two players. This might be helpful. We might have to play this together sometime. Like in terms of you controlling Wilmot and me controlling Wilmot. Oof, this, look at all this. All right, these kind of look like pills and like, like this might be like a jelly bean or something yeah, down here. Yeah, I think here. those go with the... We'll do that. We'll do those together. I think we need to move this one to its own section soon. Maybe this could be like for like shapes and other stuff like that we don't really know what to do. What do you think? Wait, that one looks like a saying castle, right? Mm, one... It kind of looks like a banner. And also a I think we should put all these things together. Like sure. The item things. That one almost needs to be on its own. I feel like that's going to be its own category. We got, we got hats. Like pills and jelly beans or whatever, like the statue, travel stuff, like sea stuff, and then um, shapes. So you remember how we have 20 items? I got to the point where like almost 100 items, totally different items. You can get like robots to help you. I think there was like an upgrade place. Are you going shipping? I think I'm gonna go there, but let me see if I can do upgrades first. I will go to here first to get everything done. Ooh, we got a lot of things. Okay, is my timer going down? Let me see. Rotate, C, R, and B. Okay, no, this stops time. Okay, so let me look at this. So tap A, use the left while holding to pick up more. Continue to hold A and move. Oh, if you hold A and move the left stick, you can pick up multiple in one go. Yeah, I think we've done that. X to automatically pick up a large group of products. Okay, we didn't do that. B to quickly drop. Hold B. Oh, so if you hold it, you can choose which specific ones you want to add. If you hold B, you can choose which ones you want to get rid of. The Y button drops everything you are carrying in one go, and the X automatically picks everything up. Okay, you ready to do this? Yep. A lot of hats. So we'll Daddy, you know they first. don't need to be like that. You could just set them in the hat area. Well, but remember, when people order them, they usually buy multiple. Remember that? Mm -hmm. I think they are going to be buying like three of each. Well, yeah. but they could be buying more, so we want to at least prepare for that. I think they're buying three. You think so? Yeah. Okay, I think they're buying see. three. 
Alright, so see how we just grabbed the whole because group at the, once? Because the first time was once, and then the second time okay, was let's two. let's do this. So I bet this will be three. Can we rotate? No, we can't rotate. Not yet. The CI. Ooh, I gotta remember how to control. I know the controls are the one thing I really want to get used to more. It's kind of picking things up. Yeah, it's just, it takes a while to get used to. I remember once I got used to it, it was really easy, but it just took a little bit getting used to. Wait, so one time you got to like the, almost the whole room of I had this whole thing stuff. where it was so, the amount of stuff was, it was crazy. It was so stuff. hard. Did yeah. you beat it? Uh, I didn't die. Yeah, I didn't lose at all. So I got Wait, really did you far. beat the game? I did not. I only played it once and sat for like hours playing it because it's easy to get lost in this game. Uh, and just keep playing for hours and hours. Was it super fun? Yeah, I really like this one. I don't know why I can't rotate yet. I wish Sean was here. Because this game is pretty cool. Yeah, I really and like And also, it. sometimes you need a little bit of help if you kind of get lost. You need a little bit of help by other people. They know where you're going. I agree. So this game is kind of like a helping game, kind of not. I mean, you can play without any helping. Well, we won't be done, really. No! Daddy does not let us. We're losing time. We have two. Okay, we're gonna get it. We're gonna get it. Yeah, I gotta get used to these controls. We have 22 seconds. Oh, yeah. those are with the ventures. Yeah, with the, the little trips. Yeah, we know that. Over there. here. Now, where is it? Okay. Yes! All right, we ready? Let's see what they're ordering. C3. Three yep. We got three crowns. Yeah, three crowns. Oh no. It's now the stock take, a chance to buy some upgrades and spend as long as you like organizing your stock. Hit the clock beside the top when you're done. Oh yeah, so now we can take time to organize. Now we can get the ability to rotate. Okay, so this is why stars are super important. You see this? Because we have 33 stars, and so we can buy up this upgrade that allows us to rotate blocks. Ooh, we can also increase the, what we can carry to eight um to eight so now we can carry more boxes that sound good mm. let's get that and now we uh, want to either this will make us either dash or we can increase i wouldn't do any well we can save up well, let's save, yeah, up. save up that's what i was saying now we can spend as much time as we want okay yeah see now we can do this Select the exact one I want. So. Now it's gonna be four. They're gonna be taking four things instead. I think you're right. But what if you don't have enough things and they're asking for it? Like they're asking for four and you only have one. I think things. they never ask for more than you have. Oh. So like there'll never be a situation where they ask for something and you don't have it. It's kind of like, you know, when you're ordering something, like on Amazon, it'll tell you, like, how many they have in stock. 
It's like that. I think we did a good job with organizing this stuff, though, don't you? Mm-hmm. I think this part actually... You know what? Let's move these. But out. now we have enough time so we can organize, like, everything. Let's push these down, because what if we need to carry multiple things and we get stuck right here? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So let's do this. So now we can drop these up. See how I'm picking them all up at once? Mm -hmm. Oh, and we can do this. Now you have enough time to do everything. Yeah, this isn't timed. Yeah, I know. This is the one part that's not. Wow, do you see how many of these we got? I see. And now we could actually organize everything. So everything could be organized. As in, yeah. You know, time to do everything. Wow, do you see how many of these? Wait, is that eight? That's eight. That's the max we can carry. So hopefully people order those, because then we can give those out. Right? Mm-hmm. Because we have a lot. There's a lot of those. Now two. Ooh, we have so many of these. the controls a little better. What was this one? This one was that banner. Okay. I think we're pretty good. I think we know where everything is, right? Yeah. Our hats, the sea stuff. I think we're doing good. Yeah. Now everything's organized in its own place, so we got it. Alright, you ready to do this? Yep. Ready. Let's do this. We got it. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. Alright, minute and a half. Ready? Let's see. Tell me what we need. Alright, this is just one of these pills. One of these pills. Do I need to deliver those together? Can I deliver at once? It's like, okay, you can. So I can deliver. close to being able to get another upgrade. Wow. Uh-oh. Okay, so I think the shark thing should go with the ocean, the water stuff, right? Yeah. What about this? Does that look like a hook? No. The hooks look like that. It kind of looks like a hook. These look like drinks, right? This almost looks like milk or syrup or something? Yeah, those look like drinks. What do you think, think we should do with this one? Should we put it over here with the water, or should we put it over here with like these weird shapes? Weird shapes. Weird shapes, okay. And isn't this kind of with the weird shapes too, I guess? Kind of? Yeah. But we said we were going to put that in our own place. Yeah, let's just kind of leave it in the middle for now. But we will organize these things together. once we know what it is, then we'll set it in its own place. If it's Great. meant to be somewhere that we're going to set there, it's going to be there. Alright, is the thing coming? There we go. I don't think we get any extra stars for this part, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. And these are the winter hats, right? We'll put them there. Of these, right? Why does everybody in my class have a baby sister? Not like everybody, but every time I answer my call, you know what? I hear. What? Baby sisters? Yep. A lot of them have baby sisters? A lot. And they're only girls. Well, you are the baby sister. <sighs> but I'm not a baby. 
I'm not a baby. I mean, well, you're the baby of the family. You're not a baby. Oreo is. Our dog, Oreo, yes. She's the baby of the family. Actually, do you know who really is? Who? Tell me. Oreo. <laughs> huh? I'll tell you soon. I forgot the name. I forgot the name. Well, this one's taking us a little longer. Mm. Well, at least we have... I don't, uh, yeah, I don't think we're punished for this. As long as we get this all... We should be fine. As long as we get everything together. Okay, isn't this a weird shape? We said we were going to put that yeah. there. We're going to put this here. And then this one was going to go here, right? Yep. I think that's everything. We're done. And let's run up. All right, you ready? Let's look at for the ones that... The, the people that want the most stuff usually has more stars. So let's try to get the biggest orders first, okay? Okay. So two diamonds and these two pills. Okay. So that's four. These two hats. These two top hats. There's this one right here. So close. Magic hat and crown. Look at you. Hey. We're doing good, aren't we? Yep. 30 stars. 30. I will say the one thing, I, I'm, I'm sure I'm going to talk about this on Thursday, but I feel like the, it's... You have this phenomenon in this game where, like, the better you are, the better you continue to do, right? Like, a rich get richer sort of thing. Ooh, this is tricky. So these are, like, charts and graphs, so we'll have these together, probably. Yeah. Should we do this one for travel? This isn't really yeah, ocean. Yeah, because it's a... No, but it's a bridge in travel. Well, I think it's kind of like, um, you see in some Asian countries, like, this kind of archway. What do we do about this one? It this looks like a compass kind of too. Or it also could be an eyeball or a car could be a shape. What do you think? What should we do I with it? I think it should go with this one. With we this one it. right here? Yeah. Because of the color? No, just because it kind of looks like it would be long. Okay, way. let's do it. I think as long as we remember where things are, that's the most important thing. work well you are now stocking 28 out of 200 products in recognition of your hard work i've added a new motivational poster to the warehouse always lift with your legs not with your back that's not that good of a poster wait always lift with your legs not with your back oh those are in the same group right yeah we have a lot of things we have a lot of things but those were all replaced. No! Picked up a lot of stuff I didn't want. Okay, I don't know if I'm being the most efficient with this. So the milks. I'm just gonna call those milks. Looks like milk and like syrup. I don't know. That's what I'm gonna call them. Looks it's like funny milk that you, we just and like. the chocolate thing. You yeah. know that chocolate mix you put in to make chocolate milk? Not yeah. with the bunny on it, the other one that says Hershey's on it. Yeah. Looks like one of those. We have that, right? Uh, the, yeah, we the use... bunny? The, oh, not, like the Nestle not the one with kind the of bunny. thing? It has Hershey's on it. It says Hershey's on it. Mm. I and think it... so. Yeah, we have it. Okay, gotcha. We could continue playing. I'm gonna just gonna go check. Yeah, but I remember seeing it this morning. Hopefully, you on it. I hope your brother didn't eat it all. Hopefully, because Jan likes chocolate milk. He does like chocolate milk, doesn't he? Hopefully, Jan didn't eat it all. I should probably be I grabbing more morning. groups of stuff, but this will have to do. Oh no, only a minute left. Yeah, we might not make it. 
It's okay. That's okay though. Because we kind of know where everything is. Yeah, and even the stuff at the bottom, we can still grab it if needs be. It'll be okay. We might be able to make it still. Yeah, we might. But maybe not. Who knows? This, is this the max that you could grab? I should have grabbed everything. Done. Are we done? This must be quick. Let's go put them in the middle of the room. There we go. Alright, now we got time. See, that wasn't that bad, and then we earned some extra time. Ooh, should we do this? No, no, so we no, carry... no. no, we definitely want more upgrades, for sure. Should we get the one that allows us to do a dash so we can go faster? Speed. Yeah, let's do that. Speed. Okay. And now we can actually make more space in the warehouse, too. Let's save money for that. But, um, with our time, could we, like, explore the house? Yeah. Since we have a lot of time. Yeah, I think we can... Can I walk around and explore the house? Uh-huh. So, how do you explore? So you can walk around. Like, how do you move? So, like, look. Yeah, put your hands right there. Um... I found out how to grab things, but I'm not grabbing. Yeah, but let's not move too much of our stuff. I think the things we want to do is start making some more room so that we don't block ourselves. You know what I mean? When we're carrying like a large amount of... Here's the poster! That is the poster. And eventually we can get rid of these columns. And we I think I had like a puppy or like a robot that was... Maybe, well, let's leave it though. Just because we're uh, going to forget where everything goes if we move everything around. How do I draw? Uh, B. I yeah. knew... I was like... How do I draw? And Y is going to give you a dash. There you go. So I get... So watch. So let's go over here. So see where all these kind of like... What we... These kind of like tridents. Oh, so I'm learning can, how to play now. We can do this. We can dash. Oh, you can't... No, you can't dash with that stuff. Okay. And then now we can take this... We had it up here, right? Yeah. Let's go here and now press Y. We dropped it all. Uh... The problem is we we gotta clear some space because imagine if we had to pick up a huge order and we couldn't even like lift up because there's too much stuff blocking it. So I think we need to leave these passages a little open. You know what I mean? Well, could I play from it? Yeah. I think I know how. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna pick up all these. I'll, um, be not too quick, but. Well, we have those over there, but see how we're gonna get stuck? We won't be able to walk through. See that? Uh, yeah. That's what I mean. We gotta organize it. And we can't turn in this area. And if we turn here, we're gonna get stuck too. You see that? Yeah, we're gonna push that there. So what I think we need to do is oh! move the shark stuff over here. Oh. And then you know what? Let's do all of this over here. How does that sound? Oh. And we have some fish to do some over here. Yeah, and that way we can leave this hallway open here. And we'll have everything here. And we could probably move all of these types of things a little further closer. Well, now could I play? Because since we have um, a time... Yeah, you can take care, care of all of these at the bottom. Since we have no... Like... Since we have... Yeah, pick up time. both of those. So press X to pick them all up. So if you're next to an object and you press X, you take everything of that type. And then go take them up there. And then if you press Y, you can drop it all off. Press B to drop off one. Yep. Wow. Press X to pick them up. A big. And didn't we say we wanted to have that over here somewhere? Was it over here? It was near these guys. Oh, we don't have. Wait, them no, here. that wasn't it. 
do with these guys. Let's see. Oh yeah. So let's. We're gonna have to do something like this. Oh, I know what to do. I know where to put it. Look, right here. Mm -hmm. Well, let's put it with the other ones. Kind of right here. Yeah. Lift it up a little bit so we can get it over here. Yep. Good job. And then we can push them a little. Um, let's do this. Oops. And we can grab this one. Why is it an image? There we go. Okay. And then dash over here. You want to grab the rest of them? Yep. And this would be easy. Yep. So, where do we sit? Right up here? Mm-hmm. With this one. Yep. Good job. So I'm going to, like, drop. Yeah, let's move them a little closer to each other. Oh. Oops. Who has the X? All right, now I think we're organized pretty good. I might flatten these out a little Wait. bit. Just to give us a little space. Yeah, I think we're organized. Because I'm a little worried about, like, us getting through oops, this hallway area, you know what I mean? It's like, what if there's a big order here and we can't get through because we have too much stuff? Well, I think we're good. I think we're cool. I think you are. All right. Do you want me to get to this next part? Yep. All right, let's do it, baby. What do you think about this game? Cool, I like it. Funner than it's funner than actually cleaning. Yeah, <laughs> I would agree to that. Two winter hats, three of those hats. And two winter hats. Two of these pills. There's only two of those, right? Yep. So I'm glad we got those. Two tridents. So let's mm -hmm. put that together. This this looks like a shape that we can put with the other shapes, right? We can have it with these. Mm -hmm. also, volcano? What should we do with the volcano? Should we put that over with the adventure stuff? The, yeah. And also, you know, so go for it, baby. Sorry. And also, um, what happened to that one? You know, I think we should move some of this adventure stuff to its own category. Because I think we should have the stuff that's like water-based all together. What do you oh, think about that? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, because well, we said that kind of looks like a kind of water thing. What is these? That's the a... light thing? The light thing? Light, yeah. We can... It's kind of like nautical and trident. Compass could be for either of them, but we'll just remember the compass. So we can have these three here. Let's put the, the compass in its own area. Um, yeah, that can kind of be almost like in between. For now, I'd say we'd leave it there. Oh, time. I forgot we're starting another round already. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Come on. So, we have a lot of stuff. We do have a lot of stuff. I wish they gave us less. But not really, because then we could. Oh, I need to be grabbing more stuff, I think. So, do we have two games after this? Oof. What are those two games? Um, we have this Hot Pot Panic, which is a game about like eating food and trying to have a conversation at the same time. Oh, I'm not doing the best here, baby. It's taking too long on this part. But we can still do it. Stuff. Shark stuff was over here. Oh, 
text. Oh, I'm not doing the best in this part. Where were the hooks? Oh, we still got we're a done. minute. We're doing good. I thought we were done. We won't make it. We're gonna make it. We said shapes would go here, right? Yep. Even if we don't get them all, remember, we have that one phase, right? What? Here, we know those are next to each other. Are you just dashing everywhere? I'm just going to take these up towards the top. That's it? Yeah, we can fix this in a little bit. Save up so we could like almost that looks get like it. a hat, right? A seashell. That would go with water. More water stuff. Oh, I feel like we have too much water stuff now. But this just looks like a hat, doesn't it? Like kind of like a, a gnome hat, you know, those little elves. Mm -hmm. And then this can just go on the shapes. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah, weird shapes. I think that's everything, right? Wait, why are we doing this? Because we don't need it. We already have everything organized. Wait, I want to go to poster. Uh, we can't. We're running low on time. The timer started. We did, no. It's a lot of pressure, isn't it? Just... Are we almost done with the game? No. Not even, not. It almost just kind of goes on forever. This is long game. Yes. Could you save in this game? Yep. Good. We can continue later. Are we gonna beat it though? Uh, if you want to. I. Well, maybe if we don't really have enough time to eat this, and you're getting really sleepy, then we're not gonna beat it. Oh, I, I hear I'm wasting time. Because this is only our second game. Yeah, but the other games don't take as long. Okay, good. But you're going to have to go to bed, Missy. Someone's got school in the morning. Not me. Not you? Oh, Not they canceled me. school? Yes. Is that, oh, okay. I didn't know that happened. I'm free from school. No, no more school for the rest of the year, huh? Mm-hmm. Okay. Interesting. I guess I'll just, uh... I don't need to ask your teacher anything? Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, no! Oh, I don't think we have any more of those, so that's probably fine. Ah, these travel ones. We're gonna have to make a whole nother section for those, baby. Cause those are getting hard for us to pull off. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. The travels are getting big. Let's see how we have. We 
can't travel anywhere. Uh-uh. So we're gonna get stuck even just putting these out. Yeah, this isn't gonna work. Yeah. Ramen. Yeah, look at this, because we're, we're making it really... Oh, ramen. Did you, but didn't you just see something with, um, earlier with Mama? Here, why don't you... Here, let's pause real quick. Can't pause. Um, here, let me pause. Let me put this down. Um. No, three diamonds. Messed up on that. Compass and this. Fortunately, those are right next to each other. Okay. Oh! Ten things is probably better. Can I finish this with me real quick? All right, so we'll, we have a, two options. We can either be stronger, so we can carry more stuff, or we can demolish one of those pillars to make more room in the warehouse. Hmm. Probably stronger, so we can carry more stuff. Um, right. Then it's kind of gonna like. We need more space because, you know. We do need more space up there, but there's still other space on the other sides. So I think it, uh, we should be able to carry more things. Okay. Yeah? Okay. But if we, what if we still had enough for that? Then would we just buy that? That would be cool. Then would we just buy that? Uh, good question. Oh, now you have one of these short things. Okay, go for it. So, now since I actually... Now you can know, carry tens, yeah. That's cool, huh? Wait, one, two... So those three, should four, go... Five, six, I think it's nine. Right there, right there, right there. Right here? Oh, there oh, they are. Oh, here, but we got a first. Let's move these, okay? Oh. Alright, now grab... Yep, and then put them in there. E. They can't really fit, but... That's good. Dash. Let's get... And put that one. Yeah, right over here. How do I kind of, like, move the thing? Uh, 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 be careful, careful, careful. You want to you wanna rotate? Press this right here. Yep, good job. Yeah, because I want to, you know... Mm -hmm. You're doing great. I don't really need a dash when you have that thing. Do you know why? You go up there. You could kind of just take it down. Oh, oh no, no. That was on accident. I forgot yeah, that you can't. And yeah. then rotate it first. Remember, you can't rotate it when you're next to stuff. You gotta move away and then rotate because you need space. There you go. So aren't those like right here? Yep, just drop them off. Like, yeah, on the side. Because look right there. And if I take this out. And a, a so. I don't want this. Well, this one doesn't matter. Yeah, that's cool. Move that other one away from that so you can put it closer to the other ones. Okay. 
No, no, uh, you can leave those. No, I'm trying to, like, okay. I'm, I'm gonna move these back, but I just need a... a little space. Do that, and... And then you're gonna take them all, okay. Good. And press Y, good. Good job, baby. So, we got that. And I'm going down just to see if we have that much things. Oh, Whoa. only tents! All of those are tents? <laughs> This will be easy. Wow. Here, actually, before you go up there, let's go down here. I know we have more tents over there, but we're not going to be able to fit them. So let's make tent section all the way over here. What do you think? Oh, okay. Like all tents here? Yeah? <laughs> all tents. Go get the rest of the tents. So I'm just going to dash there. Yep, I'll you can dash. Wee! And good. And then pick up and those. Good. Yep, good. We're close by. Whee! Oh. <laughs> Remember, you can't dash with that. Oh, yes. Aw, because then I'll just dash everywhere. Yeah. No, because then I'll block that area. So. Cool. Whee! Let me see one sec, baby. I just want to dash it. Okay, dash wherever you want first, and then we'll Whee! reorganize. Have some party. Yes. Okay, I'm done. Okay, let's. Yeah. Is mom calling you? Yeah. Okay. Oof. 
can start to see how complicated this gets. played this I remember I had a really good system in place I don't know if it was based on background colors or what it was but I think with the system we have now is really good but I remember I think it was based maybe on color and shape a little bit more all right we might I think we're gonna call it here folks and switch to the last two games since it's nine o'clock so I'm gonna exit to the menu and we are going to switch over, I think, to Hot Pot Panic. Let me see about that one right now. Yeah, I think we're going to switch on over to... Hot Pot Panic, let me see. Everything. All right, this is this is it though. Right after this, it's bedtime. Okay. Okay. Wait, we finished this thing. Um, we're gonna play two more games right here. So I'm gonna play oh. that game, Hot Pot Panic, and then it's bedtime. You understand? Wait, what game are we playing after? Um, what game are you playing after a hot pot pink game? Um, we, I'm going to play this game called a game about literally doing your taxes. Remember when dad was doing all his taxes and everything? This is, that's a game about taxes. Doesn't sound too fun though, does it? Yeah, it does. I think it'll be interesting. All right, let's try this. So it says, you are hungry. Your friend has invited you to the best hot pot place in town. And the best part, it's all you can eat. You are ready to cook and eat up a storm, but your friend is here and you don't want to seem rude. Can you get your fill without alienating her? So how to play. Welcome to the all you can eat hot pot bonanza. Click on food to cook it, then eat to fill up. So we click on food. Cook it, eat to fill up. When you finish all your food, click the refill button for more. You're not alone. Make sure to keep up a conversation or your meal might end before it begins. So we have to click on food, cook it. Oh boy. The art of cooking or how to cook your meat at the all you can eat. Click on the food to place it in the hot pot. When it's gold and sparkly, it's done. Careful not to overcook. Overcooked food is no good. So I guess we want it to look like that, okay? Because that's raw and that's charred. It won't fill your belly. So we got to get it like that. What? Even more controls? This is starting to get complicated. Uh, every once in a while, you'll have to say something to keep the convo going. Keep an eye on what your friend is saying because you're going to have to respond to her comments. Pro tip, use W and S to look up and down. Make sure you finish your meal before you run out of topics of conversation. Things will get very awkward if you run out of things to say. Am I putting way too much food in here? Is that tofu? I should say something. Um, what do I want to say? Heard any funny stories? Are they ready? So anyway, we're talking. I saw someone who looked just like you there. So we gotta pretend we're listening to this conversation. Isn't that just hilarious? Uh, I like tofu dogs. Uh, what? Oh no! So we gotta pay attention to the conversation. I should say, don't want to look like I'm focused on the food. Okay, so what do I say? Why would it give me options? When 
she looked, the tofu was in her pocket. Mm. So anyway... So the tofu was in her pocket? What am I supposed to respond to that? Isn't that just hilarious? Pocket tofu? Ooh. Oh, okay. So it makes it seem like we're listening to her. Food out. Dog is stupid or dancing. Is she gonna say something to us? But what do you think? Uh, sounds painful. He's a good boy. Sounds painful. No! Game over. No! All right, let's do it again. Yeah, now we know what we're doing. This is a funny game. Alright, don't want it to look like I'm too focused on the food. What should we talk about? No! She's got me heard any funny stories? Guy drove the thing into a dumpster. So anyway... No, what was she talking about? Isn't that just hilarious? The dumpster. Sounds painful? I think it was something about the dumpster. Sounds painful? Yeah, it was something about the dumpster. Yes! Look at us, baby. We're getting some serious points here. Alright, let's talk to her. Um... What should we talk about, though? Hmm. Heard any funny stories? Maybe we shouldn't put as much food out. Something funny did, so anyway... No, she's taking so long to talk! Let's listen to her. When she looked, the tofu was in her pocket. Remember, she said this joke before. So we gotta pretend like we... Or oh, I guess we did hear this one, so we can listen. Isn't that hilarious? Pocket tofu. Ooh. Yeah, look at us. What should we talk about? Uh, so what do you think of stuff? We should probably listen to her a little more. We was she nothing. saying something or no? Haven't seen them in a good while. How was your family doing? Are you hungry? Are you going to answer my question? They're good. Yeah. Full. Anything new going on with you? Yeesh, where to begin? So much. Okay, wait, let's listen. No! What did she say? We haven't messed up once this time though, right? This part is painful. Well, what do you think? He's a good boy or I'll take the dog. What do you think? I'll take the dog! No! Now she knows we're totally not listening to her. Because we're talking about dogs and she has no idea. <laughs> we have no idea what she's talking about. Oh man. This is a funny game. Do you understand that at all? Not a single bit. No. Let's do funny stories again. Maybe we can fill up on food. Did we get it? Let's listen to her story. I saw someone who just looked like you there. So funny. Oh, we know. Swim, remember? 
your way? Yeah. My twin. Go for my twin. Are you serious? I don't even remember that. I do. So I'll tell you where to go. Show me. So when you, here's the option. Isn't that hilarious? That was my twin. Good job. Yeah, that was my twin. That's it. Mm -hmm. Alright, maybe we can just avoid that piece. We did it! That was good, we should come back again. We did it, baby. Second meal! Second meal? Oh, let's talk to her. Say something. Heard any, heard any heard funny, funny stories? stories? Alright, let's do that. Wait, is that you that you're looking at? No, this is the girl you're talking to. Why so is anyway. She so crazy? She's like... Yeah, I tried going to that place the other day, the one with the salads and ice cream. I tried to meet Ben there, but turns out there are two places of the same name. Isn't that hilarious? <laughs> Salad and ice cream? There you go, that one. Means we're paying attention. I think we need to just start listening as much as possible. It seems like we have enough time to eat. Oh, another funny story. That's fine. I'm wondering if we have to eat that food or not. Okay, my mom had me over the other day to fix her internet. It turns out that her router was unplugged. She just looked at me and said, LOL. Oh, mom. Oh, let's say LOL back. What? She's a, I would talk about her. Yeah, we should talk to her more, you're right. Uh, so what's new in your world? Let's do that one. No. Daddy, what happened to your beard? Shaved it off. Now you have nothing. Mm -mm. Oh god. My dentist, she's saying something about her dentist. I need to get my teeth straightened. I told him that he had to get his face straightened. Okay. Let's see if we can... Oh, what do you think? Uh, you did not. Bam, look at us. right back to finish the, the rest of this and uh, the last game of the night.
All right, we are back. We're gonna do one more level of this and then we'll move on to our final game of the night. Let's see if I can keep this conversation going without my daughter's assistance here. I don't know how many levels there are in this game. I don't even know if there's like a save point or anything, but we'll probably have to switch it up after this. No, we missed it. We missed it. All right, I'm gonna have to wing this. Oh, okay, a whole dog in the pocket section. You just they fit right in your pocket. So this is the pocket dog, the hot dog one. There we go. No! Alright. What's new in your world? Finally starting to behave. He listens when I come in. You know, you can't pounce at me, I wonder why. Can't even keep up with the conversation. Oh no. We missed it. Something about a dog and gaining pounds. Alright, we might be able to use context clues. What do you think? Too many treats? Only way to be? Too many treats. Let's try that. Yes. One more piece of food. There we go. Alright, I think we're gonna have to call it quits for that game. With three of those. Master hey, we beat it actually! All right, good, perfect. Perfect timing. Friends will be none the wiser. All right, that was cool. So that was Hot Pot Panic. Really enjoyed that one. We're gonna play one more short game. It's called A Game About Literally Doing Your Taxes. So that's the next one we're gonna play here, and that's gonna be our final game of the night. Let's see. I'm going to update the stream here. Okay. Should come up. All right, I don't know what to expect for this one outside of seeing the, the trailer for it. Here we go. A game about literally doing your taxes. Wear headphones for best experience. All right, let's do this. Keep taxes? Okay. Cost trash. Simple enough. Cool.
That's how. If only taxes were that easy, right? Did eight taxes, I threw away seven things. Tax returns. Nice. Let's try my signature here. There we go. My childish cursive. Alright. No! I already messed up! Those weren't my taxes. No! I messed up twice. Mm. At least I didn't throw away any taxes. I'm at least happy about that. There we go. Yay, tax. Important? IRS important? Oh, I don't know. I guess IRS important is... is taxes? Okay, I hear this whispering in my ear. This is starting to get really creepy here. I'm assuming the IRS stuff is important for the taxes. Is it gonna tell me? No! Maybe that's the problem. This guy's way of doing the taxes is just to put his taxes in a pile and not actually to do anything. And to probably do their signature or something like this. Something ridiculous like this. Alright, let's see. The whispering in my ear. I don't know if anybody heard that on, on their end. But that was really creepy. And now we have no lights. I'm assuming it's because we have no money. No taxes? Superb. Okay. I guess we're back to doing the taxes again. We got lights. I think IRS important is, I'm assuming it's taxes, right? It's gotta be checks. I can't read the checks. I probably shouldn't be throwing away checks, right? That's probably bad. Let's see what happens if I take them. No! Okay. Interesting. <laughs> Interesting stuff here. <laughs> yes. No, I messed up my taxes. I'm gonna keep these checks. I just don't. But anything that just says important, I'm not gonna take. Cause... God. Stop. Did you guys hear that? That's so creepy. No, and now I'm just messing up. That's gotten into my head. Something's bad's about to happen. 
Okay. God. Okay. Do not know what to expect next. Oh my god. Is this just going to keep on generating until I start taking it? I'm, I have a feeling that's the case. Let's keep doing it and see. Just making me turn into a madman. Do you really want to go back? Back? I don't think it's even giving me an option to go down. I want to say no. Oh, God. going on here I figured I don't want to go back okay Or the pills, right? Okay, I'm probably going to have to give that another uh, few tries before Thursday's discussion, uh, but that was really interesting. I always love when games are totally different than what you might expect them to be. Uh, I knew that there was going to be some, some weird things going on with this one that it wasn't probably going to literally be about doing your taxes, but that was, that was an interesting experience for sure. Um, Thank you all so much for uh, watching us play this week's games. Again, that was Indie Game Club, just our Monday episode where we just stream through the games that we're going to play. Uh, Thursday is when we actually have guests come together to have a deeper discussion about the four games that we played today. So make sure to join us for that. As a reminder, the four games that we played today were... First, we played Old Man's Journey, 
really enjoyed that. That one I had played before, um, along with this game I had played before, Wilmot's Warehouse. This is a really great one. You can also play it cooperatively as well. Highly recommend it. Um, looking forward to discussing that on Thursday. Hot Pot Panic, you probably just saw us play because that was a short game that we played right before this final one. And finally, a game about literally doing your taxes. Definitely was um, a surprise experience there. Tomorrow, we hope you will join us for Games to the Rescue. This is a conversation with three doctors discussing how games are being used to fight against coronavirus. So really excited for these community conversations. We host these every Tuesday. If you missed some of the other ones we've done in the past, we've had Black Voices in Gaming. That was three weeks ago. Uh, you can still find that on YouTube and Facebook. Um, Women in Gaming, we hosted two weeks ago with the amazing folks at the Athena Alliance, CLT Gaming Goddesses. And then last week, we hosted custom game controllers. All of this, again, you'll notice, is sponsored by Lowe's. We really appreciate their support. Uh, we also appreciate Red Bull throwing in their support in this and helping. Uh, um, they gave us a joystick, uh, an arcade stick that we gave out for uh, to a lucky participant in that conversation. And then next week, we have Black Voices in Esports. We hope you can join us for that conversation. We're really excited about that. And then continuing down into September, we have Hispanic Voices in Gaming with Julio Nazario, a board game designer based out of North Carolina, who designed the game that you see there in the background. Uh, so uh, that's Control, and that's available at Target right now. So we're super excited about that. Of course, every Wednesday and Saturday, we host game nights on the Discord. Hope you can join us for that. If you are not part of our Discord, make sure to do so. The uh, link should be in the description, whether you're on uh, Facebook, YouTube, or Twitch right now. Um, that happens every Wednesday and Saturday, and we play a variety of board games and video games. That same night, we also host Smash and Learn. This is one of the three events that we do weekly for our Potions and Pixels Online League. This is a session for you to play Smash Brothers and, and learn. So it's an opportunity to learn about different characters, learn about different techniques, different levels, that sort of thing. Uh, this league was designed for all skill levels, so we hope you will join us if you have not done so already. And King of the Ring happens every Friday. Uh, that's an opportunity. It's like a scrimmage session, kind of an opportunity to practice and train in preparation for our tournaments, which we do on a weekly basis. This Saturday, we're having two tournaments, a silver tier tournament for those players ranked silver tier or new players. So if you haven't joined the league yet, have no fear. It's totally fine. You can still jump right in. And then we have another tournament for our bronze tiered players. So we hope you will join us for both of those. But again, thank you all for joining us today for Indie Game Club. Looking forward to seeing you um, tomorrow 